things that I bought for the month of May. So I know I said in my last video that I wasn't probably going to do one of these this month because I was doing kind of a no buy situation in May, but that kind of flopped, so I kind of just um, stopped caring about it. So I bought a few new makeup products, some things I kind of re-upped on, but I'll show you guys all of them today. So yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. So first makeup product that I have for you guys is this Milani Make It Last um, Setting Spray. So I have been seeing a lot of hype for this setting spray and I do really, really like it. You guys see I've already used a good little chunk of it already and I think it's a really good dupe like for the Charlotte Tilbury one but like I also think it's kind of a dupe for the one size setting spray. See I have the one size on Tilt On setting spray and I have the Milani one. So I, I do like how like the one size kind of makes my face like pretty like durable but the one thing I hate about it is just let me open it sorry it's application the way the reason it just being a whole like hairspray can it's a cool concept but I hate how it smells yeah it just kind of feels like it's spraying like full on hairspray in front of my face but with the Milani one it is this regular pump and I also have my elf one here and the one thing I've always said is that I hate the pumps on the elf setting sprays because if you have to use so much for like I don't see anyone talking about the pumps I don't know why someone wanted to honk their horn but I just hate the pumps on these things like the setting spray is good but I just hate the pumps on these things and I just rather use like like something like this. This has like the perfect like like a regular pump. Why can't we just get a regular pump instead of whatever Elf has been doing? Like I love like Elf's products, but just I and I love their like sprays and stuff like that. But just my finger gets wet, and you have to like use a lot of force to like get these things to spray. setting spray and it also has kind of like a nostalgic um i don't know what it, the aussie hairspray because like it reminds me of like doing my hair in the morning when i was a kid and my mom would always use aussie hairspray or like trisomy hairspray and this smells like that but in like a really good way and i love it so i'm just putting it back setting spray. Alright, so this one I had to re-up on and because I've been wanting to try to get through a lot of my lip glosses before I really buy any new ones, but I really wanted to re-up on this one and it is the Buxom Plumping Lip Polish in the shade Dolly. So I got this one um, when like beginning of the month and one of my old like friends and co one of my friends and old co-workers from Kohl's um work was working at the Ulta that I like close to the Kohl's that I work at and um he was like oh if like I'll come to your section and I'll give you some like free stuff and one of the products that I kept from like all the samples that he gave me I'll also show in this video but the reason why I went to the Ulta in the first place is because I wanted to re-up my Buxom lip polish because this is probably one of my favorite, like, more pigmented lip glosses. It smells really good. And this shade is, like, my favorite kind of shade. It reminds me of, like, another, like, I think it was, like, the lip, NYX lip butter gloss or the butter lip gloss, and it's really good. So, yeah. Just the, this is what it looks like and I think I did a video on it before like when I was doing my lip gloss like selection lip like products video and I showed this one off and this one is really pretty and I I love this lip gloss so much and I could just like slather it on and it won't feel like nasty on my lips at all so yeah so might as well just show off the other lip product that I 
I got or the other product. So this is the Ulta Beauty Waterless Weightless Water, not Waterless, Weightless Water Stain. So I think I've only tried this once, but I liked it the moment I tried it. So this is like, um, kind of a dupe for the Benetint Lip Tint. Like I know Benetint and like all those other tints that I had to bit are like lip and cheek. But this one is just kind of a solely lip tint. And another one that I really wanted to try was the Innis or the Etude um, uh, lip tints. But I did really like this lip tint for the one time I tried it. But I haven't really tried it because I'm trying to get through a lot of my other lip products before I go on to like things like this. But it is really nice. And I guess I'll swatch the Buxom lip gloss and the lip tint. So let me swatch the lip gloss first. This is what the lip gloss looks like. Really pretty. And like when you kind of layer it on top, it kind of it matches my lips pretty well. Like if you can see, it kind of matches my lips. Makes it a little bit darker, but not too bad. And I do really like it. And it's not like super like burning plumpy, but I do really love this lip gloss. And now let's do the stain. So cute. And I think this 
this is fine. I do really like it. I have I don't think I've used this like in a whole month, but I use this at night and it just gives me a little bit extra moisturizing and it's gonna help with my skin. Like I've been having some problems with my skin, but my skin has been pretty good so far. But yeah, I've just been trying to get rid of like I have like these spots right here that I've been getting. But yeah. I have I've been really using this and it is really nice. It is soothing very barrier support serum with lipids, vitamins and bioto photo photo technologies, biotechnologies for epidermal repair. And I've been just kinda gazing up barrier syndrome like support. Because I do use the Paula's Choice one and that one's a little bit harsh, but I do really like this one at night. I've been using it like every night and I'm like more than halfway done. So yeah. I've been using the ordinary for like since like maybe 2021, 2022, I believe, and it's been it's been pretty good. I've been really 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 enjoying it. So yeah, so now I have two primers. I'll show you this one first. So I got the original power grip primer from e.l.f. So you guys know I've been using the one with niacinamide. But I'm like, I wanted to try this one, and it's just basically the same thing, but just like maybe not give as much as a glue, but I really like this primer, and it's just, it's a really nice primer. I think this is like my third bottle of it, and then, but I use this one, like, I layer my primer, so this is the one that I put on before, this is the Elf Brooks Buddy and Primer, and I've been really liking this one. I also wanted to try the liquid. It's like, it like leaves little black. 
black streaks because the, like the paint on the eyes and the whiskers are coming off. But yeah, so this was kind of a waste of money, but I did get a CVS an extra pair of bucks from it. So I don't know. Alright, so I think I have two more products left. Actually, I did get three. It's three products because I forgot one. I just saw. So I got the a little mini sample version of the one size ultra pink powder because like when I when I was wanting to do a little bit of shopping around, um and my like mom and dad were gonna pick me up but they were on the way so I was like I wanted to go like to Sephora at my Kohl's like the place that I work at and I was I had like a 35% off like coupon going on where like um at Kohl's like during like certain I think it's like every month so far we like get like a 35% off like coupon and stuff like that or like our um like associate like coupon gets like um gets like extra gets like an extra boost to like 35% so of our normal like 15% and I was like I want to buy a few things I was gonna buy the full size of this but I was like I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not so I just got the little like mini one size powder and it is their like ultra pink powder <sighs> It's their ultra pink powder and I don't know. I think it's like pretty cool. I do kinda like it. Like I think maybe I just need like the full size or something like that, but it's nice. I do really like it. I just don't think like because you can see like that line is never it's not going anywhere, so like I don't know. And also how do you get like the concealer on like this part of the eye because it's like there's a line right here under my eye that like I can't get like any concealer or anything on it and it makes my eyes look weird but yeah so but yeah the powder is pretty nice and I do kind of like it all right next is the one size point made liquid eyeliner in the shade bodacious black so I wanted to get a new eyeliner because my I think my next one was kind of running out so I wanted to get a new one and I wanted to try out this one and I was like I want to see if they have it and they did and I was able to get this for a good price because of my coupon and all that stuff and it is one of these like little like belt tip like really pointy like applicators I do like I had like a Maybelline one that was like this and the um what was it the house lamps one that I really liked when I had it I still have the two but it's like it's done but yeah so I have this one and it, it is pretty nice I really do like it and it's just that um sometimes it gets a little clogged but I do really like this eyeliner very very much all right the final product that I have is aquaphor so um I think it was like last week I got aquaphor and like my lips were like so dry and like my whole face I was having like some kind of like like I had like a burn on my eye from like doing like makeup something like that and I like wanted to fix it so I got aquaphor and it really helps like I would every night I would like rub it on my eye like every night and every morning I would rub it on my eye and like what I would do is I would just kind of squeeze it out a little bit like rub it on my eye go down like the side of my nose and like I also have like some like dry cracky around my nose so I would use that as well, and I would just kind of rub it in, and it helped a lot, like, after a couple of days, like, the burn healed and stuff like that, and also, the other day, I, like, last week, I had, like, the top line of my lips, and, like, most of my lip, top lip was, like, so dry and cracked, and I hurt and stuff, and I didn't know what to do, so I used the aquaphor that I had, and I put it on my lips, and, um, my sister, like it was really working. My sister told me try to, to try this where I put on like the lip balm, my like lip balm or chapstick, and I put on like my Summer Fridays one, and I put on my I put it aquaphor on top, and then it like magically healed the next day. And I was like, oh my god, it worked so well. 
so yeah so aquaphor i love aquaphor now i used to like just not really use aquaphor actually i did use aquaphor a lot i would like i tried slugging stuff like that but it ruined my mellow gaze and it made my face break out even more so yeah so i tried slugging didn't like it but now i use aquaphor to like help my lips help keep my lips and my lip balm like nice and like keep my lips just nice and hydrated and stuff like that but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and follow all my socials down to the doobly doom